Shout out to all my Patreon supporters, man. And I keep this shit going, man. And much love to my YouTube family as well, bro. I appreciate all the support, bro. Y'all don't gotta, y'all don't gotta support me, cause y'all don't got to. You feel me? Y'all do not have to. None, nobody. None of these five thousand subscribers. None of these one hundred and eleven Patreon supporters. And it's been up to one hundred and forty in the forties, cause. That's the highest it went or in the 50s. I can't remember right now. And I'm blessed. I'm grateful for any person. Whether you still a part of Patreon or not, I'm grateful. Thank you. All of you. Every like, every comment on my YouTube, thank you. I'm grateful. Every day. Dun, dun. This is fire. <laughs> this is fire. <laughs> Woo. That shit always been spooky. Anything made for kids is spooky. Remember that. And there's a reason for that too. And I don't even want getting all that. <laughs> there's a reason for that. You think Mickey Mouse is for kids? It's not so newborn anymore, he said. A two month old. Was almost killed at his own baptism. Yes. What a shame. What a crime of humanity. <laughs> what a fucking shame. What a crime of humanity, Craig. Every single drug lord who sleeps soundly at night does so for one of two reasons. Either the U.S. government doesn't care enough about them to kill them, or the U.S. government thinks killing them is inconvenient. Please go on. I, got, I love what you got to say. <laughs> you know how many Nazis got to leave Germany safely and lived out the rest of their lives here in the United States just because they were f dealing with NASA and all that type of shit, you feel me? Was able and committed the most heinous crimes during the Holocaust, but was allowed to come here just because of what they got to give. You feel me? What they got to offer. That's what do you not? That's what governments give a fuck about capital and what you got to offer. What's up, family? How y'all doing, man? I hope everybody's been well. You feel me? But getting a little bit into this episode, family. Um, I I loved the opening. You feel me? I loved the opening. I loved the the little the tune. Um, because again, like I said, many things that are meant for children have an evil connotation to it or or an evil history about it of where many of these things come from so are hidden meanings and shit the dark meanings and shit yo so it gets real bro <laughs> it gets real again like i like to say this a lot this world ain't fucking butterflies and fucking rainbows and just happiness and and no this world is fucking mass incarceration this world is fucking mass genocide starvation famine that's what this world is about cuz and money above all else money you feel me so Moving on from that though, man, I love the opening. Everything with Maya and the plug was dope. Um, but it's like, what do you what do you expect, yo? What do you think is gonna happen, bro? You have to give up something. You feel me? There's one of two ways the U.S. operates when it comes to drugs or when it comes to um, communism or, or, or dictators or, or this and that. You feel me? We stage coups all over this world you feel me in bolivia in in, in venezuela um in guatemala we stage we stage cute cute coups my bad it's hard for me to pronounce that coups everywhere you feel me just because they don't want to play ball with what the u.s want you feel me when it comes to like uh resources and and, and the economy pricings on on items and shit you feel me like things like that so when niggas don't want to play ball you feel me we'll go in there Fuck up the whole country, take out whoever we need to take out, and make sure we put in another dictator in a place that will follow the U.S. rules. You feel me in laws? So that's the only way. Your father and I have asked a lot of you since we came here. And more than any parent has a right to Mom, ask. Mom, it's not your fault. Oh, yes, it is. Oh, yes, it is. 
They signed up for this shit. What Helen say? We'll know what's reaching him as it burns. Because he's right here. But he's not. Maybe if you kill me, you can make one of these too. Man, he gotta go. I'm sorry, bro. I love Jonah to death. You feel me? That's my little brother. Little, little brother. But he gotta go, bro. With this kind of energy, bro. He got, he cannot be in this house with us, bro. And I don't think that new locket will stop him. <laughs> you think that one lock gonna stop him, cuz? You think he ain't gonna find another way to get in that motherfucker? Said this shit done, nigga. I'm putting a stop and a hold on all of this shit, nigga. I'm the dictator here. Look at this fucking, look at the embassy, bruh. This is Drake's crib, bruh. Fuck Drake, by the way. This is Drake's crib, nigga. <laughs> the embassy. <laughs> look at his floors. Look at the, man. Just look at this hall. Look at this. Yo pensé que era para que no me jodía mi hermana. Mándame con la mercancía, tío. Para que todos nuestros intereses estén protegidos y nada de eso se vaya a la mierda. You need to stay where the fuck you at, bro. <laughs> you gonna get bodied, my nigga. Keep trying to get involved in shit, nigga. You better be. You better go kiss your kids, nigga. Go hug your wife. Worrying about the birds and shit. All right, bro. Hole gonna get dug for him too, bro. Don't get it twisted. Marty Bird. Oh, that was a surprise. <laughs> I thought it was hard. <laughs> be angry too. That was a surprise. Just recently started giving out markers, and I was wondering what percentage of your handle uh, do, you, do you typically have in outstanding markers? Mm -hmm. That hillbilly cunt. What's up with her, bruh? <laughs> so. What are you doing? What's going on? Mom cut the power to the basement. Mom cut the power to the basement. When did she do that? Yesterday, when I was in the middle of testing an automated deposit flow chain. If one of those deposits was in process when the power cut. Yeah, then, the, then the account gets flagged and the whole chain needs to get rebuilt. I can't work like this. Yeah, well, you know, maybe you shouldn't be working at all. <laughs> so maybe you shouldn't be working at all. <laughs> well, uh, he's still just a kid, you know? So was I when he hired me. And that's working out great, isn't it? What the fuck is she doing here? Let's get into it. Let's get into some drama. Let's go. Oh, was I supposed to just let him keep committing felonies under our roof? That's right. Get him the fuck out of here, bro. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> he playing both sides. He got to go. Jonah, come here. He making Jonah, a choice. Nah, bro. He making a choice, bro. Just hear me. You're angry about Ben? So am I. But you know who you should be angry at? I don't think that this Just is stay the fuck out of this! That's right. Shut the fuck up, Marty. Who kidnapped you and shaved your head? So if you think, if you think, you think these two lunatics are gonna protect you when the shit hits the fan, you've got another thing coming. Jonah. Man, let him go, nigga, go, nigga. Get the fuck out of here, bro. Get the fuck out of here, go. If that's what you feel, go. What are you doing, Wendy? I'm fighting for our family. And what the fuck are you doing? You playing in a dirty game, you doing illegal shit. Okay, you doing exactly what we do. Okay, well you ain't gonna be here if you working for the other side, cuz. And you got this kind of pressure towards us. Cause you not gonna take a shoddy to none of our heads in our sleep, my nigga. Like you blew out them windows. Blew out the whole house. Fucked up. No. Jonah is playing in a real dangerous game, bruh. And he don't know what... F and he ain't built for none of this shit. You feel me? And we'll get into deeper about that. 
because people like to bring up IQs and shit, you feel me? People love to bring up IQs and, and this and that. But guess what, bro? Your IQ will not save you. It will not. <laughs> it will not, cuz. And I said that to say this, bro. Jonah's I Jonah got one of the high probably got the highest IQ in all of the Ozarks. The highest IQ in all of the Ozarks. And he's just a, a young a young boy. You feel me? A jit. But he's not but he does not make smart decisions. You feel me? There's a difference between intelligence and making smart decisions. Smart, you being smart is all based off of your choices. You feel me? The way you move about things. And the way Jonah moves about things is not smart at all, bro. And and again, this goes to him not being ready for none of this shit, but it also goes to an even deeper level. You ain't got the stomach or the heart for none of this shit, you feel me? That Marty got. But I'm going to leave that at that because uh, there's more to speak on when it comes to that in a few in the upcoming episodes. I just wanted to give a little preview. You feel me? Your IQ will not save you, fuck nigga. <laughs> Is she? Not until she's holding hot stacks of cash, by which point she'll realize what you and I already know. My plan's best for business. Is it? Is it? The bitch. Because you know so much. Don't know much. shit. What the fuck I said the other day? He was what happened when you spilled your bomb. Don't know shit about shit. I'm gonna end up with a fucking hole in his head. And the fact What? What? Just fucking say it, why? You fight with everyone you work with. Fucking everyone. It's like you can't help it. He's a punk. You know, and then once you start fighting, it becomes more about the fight than it does the work. She's not in the wrong at all with any of this with Darlene and him. He's a punk. That's it. Look, I, I want this to work out with me, you and Darlene. Nigga, fuck you and Darlene, bro. Please, don't bruh. fuck this up, too. This is making me mad, bro. Don't fuck this up. You you, you gonna tell me? Your old sister, nigga, that took care of your fuck? Hell nah. I'm angry, bro. That punk ass nigga, I wanna put my hands on him, cuz. I wanna fuck him up so badly, bro. He don't never wanna talk the roof again, bro. That's how badly I wanna do him, cuz. Ungrateful motherfuckers. I really love Ruth with all my soul, all my heart and soul, you feel me? And I feel she don't she don't deserve none of these motherfuckers. None of them deserve to have her in, in their lives, you feel me? To have, have the kind of heart she got. Because she a real one. She's solid from head to toe, nigga. Her heart, her mind, her body, her spirit is real. You feel me? She don't deserve... None of these people deserve her, bro. And it's just frustrating because her brother's a punk, bro. And we just gonna leave that at that. And he chose Darlene over his cousin that raised him, that fed him, that gave a fuck about him. Because ain't nobody else in the Ozarks give... Ain't nobody else in this on this earth give a fuck about him except his cousin. And the fact that you keep in your mind that she's the one in the wrong here, and your your uh, your captor, <laughs> he's like Stockholm syndrome go on. Your captor, Darlene, is the one in the right, bro. And it's, it causes confusion, and it causes you to see nothing but red when you look at the only person that gives a fuck about you, cause and it's not right. She don't she don't deserve that, bro. And he don't deserve her. And he gonna get a bullet for that shit. He, choices. Choices. Mom's the only one that's been back since we moved, and we can just, you know, make, Got a, taller. make a reverse vacation. I can't. I have work. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I love that. That was perfect. I work better than cutting the power. I tried to make peace. He spit in my face. And I wouldn't have had to cut the power if you'd only backed me on this from the beginning. Wendy, I did back you. I went to Ruth and I yeah, warned her that you and I are not happy. Marty is so much more chiller. Like, this is the chillest Marty's ever been. Is in this season. Alright, he, he's fully a thug now, bro. He comfortable in his position, bro. I want you home by 10, lights out by 11. Alright, and uh, this should be more than enough for food or... 
any unforeseen emergency. Got it? You know, my net worth is more than six figures, Dad. I know, buddy, but... It's but what he's not realizing is that's how the rich stay rich, nigga. The rich would have took that money and still had six figures. Still had a billion dollars in their fucking bank account, but they would have took that money because that's how the rich stay rich. The rich ain't turning down no money. The wealthy ain't turning down no bread ever. And they got millions, billions, nigga. They, you think they gonna turn down some bread from a nigga? Y'all crazy. Y'all crazy. 20.9 trillion. 20.9 trillion. <laughs> Seconds. Man, put a fucking hole in her head. Fucking Wyatt. He's a bitch. Well, he may be your cousin, but he's my lover. He's a big, he's a bigger, you know what? I'm gonna put two in her fucking head. Don't, don't have that look like you about to fucking cry. The hell is wrong with you, Ruth? I can't believe you fucking ratted me out. He's a punk. He's a bigger punk than his fucking father. The fuck you mean, nigga? His daddy was a punk and he a punk too. Wendy? <laughs> oh my god. Hi. Would you love <laughs> it? Oh, you too. Hey. These niggas is thugs, bro. Don't let this shit fool you, cuz. We moved to Missouri and we opened a casino. <laughs> you know how many bodies this blonde woman done put in dirt, nigga? <laughs> Fuck you, man. I love them, though. Fuck them. They turned on my nigga roof. You see, I'm having a duality, bro. Like, I, I, let's just put it like this, bro. I don't rock with them, but I don't want their deaths. We're working on it. You're 400 miles away working on saving yourselves. When I already told you, Marty. Man, what the fuck you gonna do, bruh? No, 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 no. You don't win until I Do whatever you gonna do, bruh. Fuck this. I'm tired of you talking and talking to me and treating me this way, bruh. Do whatever you gonna do. Or let or shut the fuck up and let me do what the fuck I gotta do, bruh. From the last Shit. time your patients almost fucked this up, so we're gonna do it our way this time. Listen, I, I gotta run. That's a bar, Marty. Yo, fucking impact. You fucked things up last time. We gonna do it our way. That's right. That's what the fuck I'm talking about, bro. Let's go, Marty. Um, great to see you guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you too. Yeah, yeah okay. <laughs> bye. 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 <laughs> nice smiles and polite and all this shit. Nigga. This, let's go back to the hood. Let's go back to the Ozarks. Fuck this. <laughs> Let's go back home, bro. And you knew? Yeah. And you didn't think to warn me before my guys lost a day running to shuttered workhouses? Like how you warned me before I lost months refining a product that you were too chicken shit to distribute. <laughs> you know what she just said, bro? She just said, you get it how you live. You get it how you live, nigga. Man, she still got that baby. That's a fucking crime against humanity. That she still got that fucking baby, bro. That, that's 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 a shame, bro. That that's really that's the baby of that woman that got murdered, bro. That pregnant, nah, nah, bro. Hell nah, bro. They need to put fucking two in her head. And, uh, I wasn't told, you know, what when. Sorry I'm late. <laughs> but then Ryan. Follow me. Hola, Marty. Hi. Hola, Marty. Hola. Hola, Marty. <laughs> Woo! Hola, Marty. Como esta? Bien, y tú? Oh, okay. Okay. Indistinguishable from our Tasmanian supply. We've been. Then it looks like I'll be seeing a lot more of you in the show. From here on out, I'll be my uncle's personal representative on this deal. This shit is really crazy, bro. You see, this woman is in here testing a testing the cartel's dope. This woman, bro, from her position, you felt like the first gringo I've met whose family's killed more people than mine. 
You the first gringo what? That's all I heard, bro. <laughs> you the first gringo what? <laughs> like, people be thinking shit is just a TV show or movie. And this shit is just a TV show and movie. But some of the things that be happening, this is real. Like, people be thinking, oh, this is not real. That's not really going on in our in our society. Like, you're crazy and you're ignorant. <laughs> if you think, bro, this world is ran off of capital and money. Tell me why I shouldn't take your head off right now. Man, put fucking two in her head, bro. You've been waiting for a partner with as much guts as you your whole life. See? If you try, there's no guarantee I won't take off yours first. That's a bar. Don't fucking turn around smiling either, nigga. You think this shit gonna last? Cause get you, I need to sit down with you and get you straight. The fuck, man? Because you ain't moving that way you supposed to be moving out here, bro. She making moves. Or she doing her own thing. Nah, she doing what she's supposed to be doing. But the fact that she's not looking at these people and, and not thinking of the future, bro. This shit ain't gonna last with this woman. Javi is setting up for tonight. It's uh, it's exactly what Maya's looking for. And if you want to get her back, this is how you do it. He's smart, bro. He that's what I'm talking about. Opportunity. You fucking you, Marty. And you see what he doing? And I would risk my life suggesting this with Javi right here if I didn't think it was absolutely necessary. He capitalizing. You feel me? To prove to you how much I'm not fucking you. I'm gonna give you Maya's number and you can call her yourself, okay? So get a piece of paper and start writing. He's fucking in tune, nigga. He's aware of his surroundings and what everything that's being said. You feel me? He taking the opportunity. That's what the fuck we talking about, cuz. Let's go. Where's Marty? In the garage with your partner. Thug. What? Not him. The nephew. Thug. Right there, bruh. Put that motherfucker live, nigga. <laughs> Thug. Look, I love my family, despite all of it. But I'm trying to save them without becoming them. I don't believe that. I just think you're soft. I just think you're soft and you're scared. But you down to do all this shit, though. Because of that bread. I don't believe her, bruh. I know it might not feel like it right now, but it really is. It's the only way to make the bad mean something. Now she good at manipulating and getting people to do what the fuck they agreed to do. Don't, I, I, I want to say this as, as calm and as nicely as I can and respectful as I can. Do not believe or trust any of these individuals. They are the same as politicians. You feel me? Don't trust or believe in any of them because their only self-interest is their own pockets and the shareholders' pockets. You feel me? That's it. These people make billions of dollars and thrive and thrive and love that there's an opioid addiction or crisis across America. You feel me? They love and they thrive off of that shit. You feel me? Don't trust police. Don't trust politicians. And don't trust government, period. But keep in mind, all these people, these, 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 her family, you feel me, that she's trying to save, that she's trying, whatever, her family, they got, they got hundreds of thousands, I mean, I was about to say hundreds of thousands, they got hundreds of lobbyists at, in D.C. right now, in Congress, trying to stop progress, you feel me, trying to keep drug prices as high as they fucking can possibly be. Shit, shit could be an EpiPen, whatever, could be like fucking $20 or something in Canada, but in the United States, motherfucker got to pay $1,000. You feel me? Like, it's insane, bro. It's profits over people. Don't fucking trust them or don't believe them just because they got a fucking pretty face or they're white or this or that. And I'm saying that like that because this, this is real. You feel me? I'm not, I'm not, I'm being a fucking realist, bro. And y'all know I don't have no problem with no fucking white people. Y'all, y'all know. You feel me? I'm a regular human being. Y'all know I love all my people. And I probably have more white supporters than fucking anything else. You feel me? So I want that to be known and be clear. Okay? Again. For anyone out there. 
I'm gonna just leave that at that, bro, because this 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 is the this is the reality of this shit. He gonna be Javi gonna be hot. Yo, if I was that driver, bro, I'd be the most pissed off nigga in the world, bro. Navarro gave up these. <laughs> I love how the bird. I love Marty Bird. <laughs> that nigga <laughs> just, hey, just looking at him. <laughs> this shit great. That's completely true. That's cool. Is that what I think it's about? Look at Marty. Look at Marty. <laughs> Them niggas is great. Well, you know, when we get back home, we'll, mm -hmm. we'll look at our calendars and, and we'll set up those uh, those campus visits. Everything all right? He thinking. He trying to connect dots and shit in his mind. He was thinking real hard while looking at y'all. Yeah, we gonna drink. We gonna get drunk after this. <laughs> Let's have a toast after that that good news, bruh. This was dope. Last episode was way more better, but I, this episode was dope too, bruh. Javi, one the only thing I got to say about bro is I said some crazy stupid shit in the review for episode one. Like I said some stupid shit. What did I say? I said um. That Javi is, 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 I said Javi's smarter. He, 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 he thinks before. I, I said some crazy shit that, that was completely off. And I was just, I think, giving him some hype or giving him some praise because I just loved his performance in episode one. <laughs> but he, he's, he's not wise at all with how he moves about things. You feel me? He's very aggressive and he's very, um, nonchalant about things you feel me he doesn't he, he doesn't give a fuck you feel me he will take your life bro and not think about the consequences or think about nothing beforehand you feel me or think about right place or right moment or time none of that it's all on what he feels he moves strictly off of his emotions and that's not good for nobody <laughs> especially the bird family who from day one from day one all the way through the episode, the final episode, he's been wanting to kill them and having that pressure on his mind. But I do think he was a fucking amazing addition to this to this final season. And again, he is the younger, younger, more aggressive version of Dell. Because again, Dell was aggressive, but he was more, he was a little more conserved though you feel me he wasn't as out there but you can tell he could get back out there if he wanted to if he if, if need be you feel me and that's where i feel javi would would reach if he were to continue living on but that's not gonna happen bro <laughs> at least i hope because but i appreciate all my people this is the end please leave me a like and a comment if you enjoyed my video man and i'm thankful yo patreon link is down below as well i appreciate it and i'm grateful for anybody whether it's a dollar or up to 20 up to whatever it whatever bro i'm grateful Y'all be safe. Much love to all my YouTube supporters, man. Y'all be safe. Love one another. Don't degrade one another. And stay aware. Stay woke. Peace, fam.